Hello everyone, welcome to day 22 of the Vegan Weight Watchers Challenge. So I am making, it's called Healthy Tuna Noodle Casserole and it is from a Sweet Pea Chef. So like I was saying yesterday's video, um, I really wanted to make this off of the um, Weight Watchers website and I really couldn't because they used so many ingredients that when I transferred them over to being vegan, that, I mean, there would have been an insane number of points in this meal. So. What I'm doing is I'm making pretty much basically what her recipe calls for. Um, it's not going to be exactly exactly because I'm not going to use the oil. I'm not going to use a teaspoon of salt. Um, you're supposed to use two cans of tuna. I'm not going to use a Parmesan cheese or almond meal. So there's a few things that I'm leaving out. But for the most part, it'll be very, very similar. So basically you need to preheat your oven to 375, which I still don't have an oven that's functioning. So the little baby countertop oven is what we're going to have to use. Um, and cook up some noodles. It calls for 12 ounces of rice pasta and whatever brown rice pasta, whatever pasta it is that you want to use. I have half of a package, which would be eight ounces, um, ready to go, but I might only use half of that. I'm not 100% sure yet. So um, I can't quite calculate how many points are in here until I get done making this because I'm not actually sure how much pasta I'm going to use. But the pasta is ready and raring to go. Um, so basically the first thing that you need to do, if you could make this with rice too guys, if you wanted to, if you had some leftover rice and you just want to make it with that, that would be absolutely fine as well. Um, so in a skillet you want to cook a diced yellow onion and some sliced up celery. So it calls for one yellow onion and um, one large celery thinly sliced. Um, so you want to cook that for about five minutes it says, and then you want to add six diced criminy mushrooms and uh, some minced garlic, two cloves of minced garlic and cook that for a few minutes. So what I'm actually going to do is put my onions and celery, and I'm not using regular mushrooms, I'm using enoki mushrooms, into the pan, and I'm going to saute that with the garlic for about five minutes-ish or so, get the onions starting to cook nicely. And then after that, so you get your vegetables so they're nice and cooked. Once that happens, you wanna put in one quarter cup of chickpea flour. If you don't have, um, based on if you don't usually stock that i imagine you could use just regular rice flour and it wouldn't be that big of a deal um but you want to add a quarter cup of that and mix that in until it's really well incorporated and then you're going to add two liquids you're going to add one cup of chicken broth which obviously we will use no chicken base broth and one cup of unsweetened whatever milk it is that you use um which i'll be using the soy beverage so you want to bring that to a low boil and reduce the heat simmer it for five to eight minutes basically you're just waiting for it to thicken and once it starts to thicken a little bit, you want to add in your two cans of tuna, which I'm only using one, and you want to add in some peas. So you're supposed to put in three quarters cups of frozen peas. I'm not actually using peas, I'm just going to use mixed veggies, which has peas in it, because I've got about that much of a bag left um, from yesterday. So I'm just going to put this in there rather than putting peas in there. I think it will taste absolutely fine. And then the other thing that I am going to do that it does not say to do on this is I'm going to add half a cup of daya cheese. So I'm going to put most of that half cup in it to mix it through and then sprinkle a tiny little bit on top. So that's different from what it says. Um, and it wants you to use the Parmesan cheese almond meal to sprinkle that over the top to make it like a crust. I'm just not going to worry about that part. Or if I do, maybe I'll just sprinkle a little bit of the um, crummy thingies from the soy curls. That actually would work out really well. So, and then you bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. So, cook your veggies, put in your flour, put in your liquids, mix in your tuna and your veggies, um, your green peas or whatever it is you choose to use for your veggies. The one other thing that I am going to do with this is that when I put the mixed veggies in, I'm also going to add a package of cauliflower. And that's why I don't know whether or not I'm going to use all of the pasta because I'm going to add the cauliflower to it to basically increase the volume while decreasing the caloric density. So um, I probably won't end up mixing in all of the noodles. So after you put in the, the tuna and the peas, the peas or veggies that you use or you're supposed to stir in your noodles. Um, I'm not, not exactly sure how much room I'll have left, so I probably will only use half of the pasta, but I'm not sure. I will let you know when I get it done, um, but I'm going to go and, and start that process and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so step one is complete. Mushrooms, nope, excuse me, the onions and the celery are done. I'm going to add in the enoki mushrooms now. And I'm also going to put in the garlic, which is just two cloves, but you know me, I just put in whatever amount of garlic I want. So that is step number two. I'm gonna let this cook up for about 
says three to four minutes, but these are enoki mushrooms, so they're not going to take hardly any time at all. So I'm going to be back with you for the next step in just probably about 30 seconds. Alrighty, so now that this has been stirring for cooking for just a few minutes, I'm going to put in the next step, which is the one quarter cup of chickpea flour. And this just says to stir until well incorporated, so that's actually going to be really easy. That's not a lengthy step at all. So, chicky flour, face on, whatever you would like to call it, would appear to be well incorporated. And then the next thing is you're supposed to put in one cup of broth and one cup of um, soy milk, which is what I have here, except I haven't put the better than bouillon in here yet um, because it won't dissolve in cold. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of the better than bouillon and put it in here. And then you're supposed to let this boil and simmer until it starts to thicken. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will be back with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so this is what it has done so far. It looks like a really good consistency. It's definitely thicker. So what I'm going to add to this are, um, it says, it calls for some black pepper. So I'm going to do that. So there's black pepper. I'm going to put in the mixed vegetables now. So that will be good, mix that in. And then also it calls for the um, tuna to be put in at this time. So I'm actually just gonna mix in probably half of this cauliflower quick before I put the tuna in there. So the tuna can be kind of difficult to get to, um, difficult to get it to break up a little bit because it's in this nice little chunk. So. Anyway, we're going to use a fork for that, but that's what the kind of tuna that I buy, I don't think you can see that, but it says that it's the sea salt version. It does break up, it just is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's a little bit more stubborn than a regular can of tuna, I would say. Although I haven't done anything with tuna in a long time. So, we're going to squish any chunkies that we find. And I did drain that can of tuna, by the way. Um, I just opened the lid and then set it in the uh, sink to drain so that we don't have all the oil that's in there because that's just not necessary. Okay, there's another chunk. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I know you can't smell this, but this smells wonderful. This art smells really, really good. So. There is our tuna noodle casserole without any noodles in it. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot of noodles to go in this. So, let's put in about half of this container. And mix that in really well. Yeah, the cauliflower and the noodles absorb the, any liquid that was there really, really well. This is really pretty. It's all colorful and stuff. Okay, so I believe this is all that I need to do other than to stick it in a pan and um, cook it for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to put mix a little bit of cheese, day of cheese in here, which I need to get out. Maybe I just won't mix it into here. I think I'll just sprinkle the day of cheese over the top of the casserole dish when I get it in there because I don't think it needs to be in the middle. I think that it will be just fine. Oh, I lost a pea, yum. Um, I think it just needs to be across the top. So, yep, I'm going to go and put this in the oven and I will see you guys in about 25 minutes. All right, guys. So if I was to make this and let it sit overnight and then take it out of the dish, I bet you it would make this beautiful, nice looking casserole type thing that I would take a really great picture of. I can't, I need to take it with me for food for tonight. So it's all smooshed and funky looking. However, this is really good. I would highly recommend that you guys try this. Um, I really like the vegan tuna. So if you don't like vegan tuna, you might not like this, but I really like the way the vegan tuna tastes. Um, this is really, really good. Mm, that's very good. Mmm, top. Interestingly, this does not need the day of cheese on it at all. So totally leave that out. Give yourself, like, give your six points back that you don't need to have on here. Oh, my timer's done. I already took my food out. Anyways, um... So you don't need to put the day of cheese on here at all. It tastes wonderful without it. It tastes fine with it. I mean, it's not like it's bad with it or anything. It tastes really good with it, um, but you don't need it. So yeah, I figured out, I calculated, 
Man, I'm glad I only used a quarter of a package of the pasta because holy cow, pasta has a lot of ca points in it. One package of pasta was 51 points. Holy buckets. Anyway, so when you count it all up and you divide it by four, it comes out to be about six points per packet, per quarter of a piece, which is fine. That's actually not too bad for um, a really decent, awesome casserole. So I'm going to have um, two servings of this to take with me tonight, and that's all I'm going to take with me. I think that should be just fine. I'm not too worried about it. I could actually have a third piece of it, and it would be 18 points for the day, no big deal. So anyways, that's it for me for today. I'm gonna go and finish getting ready to go to work so that I can uh, get out of here and get to work on time. So definitely make this, it's delicious. Don't even worry about the day of cheese. Just leave it off the top, you don't need it. It's super, super yummy without it. See you later, guys. Good morning, everyone. So I am on my drive home, and I just thought that I would chat with you guys for just a second. I um, ended up splitting the food from last night into like the, there was four pieces of it that should have been six points each, and I took two containers that would have been nine. So I took one extra piece and split it into half and put in each of the containers. So when I got to work, I drank some tea. And then I wasn't hungry for like a really long time. And then um, I went ahead and ate. And then I wasn't hungry again. And I'm not hungry now. So when I get home, I'm not going to eat. Um, I think it's probably just because I got, my head is all stuffy and gunky and whatever. So I am just not super hungry because of that. So anyways, I am going to go home and I need to wrap a Christmas present still. Just remembered that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow though, it's not a big deal. But anyways, so um, I have a thought for what I want, might wanna to make tonight, but I'm not 100% certain, so I won't talk about it right now. But um, I did wanna let you know that I really enjoyed that healthy tuna casserole. It was really, really delicious. And again, it didn't need the cheese. It was, it would have been absolutely fantastic without it. So you should give that a try if you're looking for a healthier version of a tuna casserole that is, um, it was still very rich, very like creamy and stuff. So it wasn't like it, yeah, it was good. Hands down, it was very tasty.